So anyway, you put it on there, it'll dry. Once it's dry, you can eat it. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. I'm gonna go to bed, see you guys in the morning. What's up, my immune friends? This is kj 4 8 and what a beautiful morning to be back in Mist Survival. All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to be... Well, honestly, today, I want it to be a building video. I was going to make a place for Bobby to live, because look at him. He's just kind of... He's just kind of running around here. He doesn't like it. He's not happy, right? He needs a place to live, but we have a problem, okay? And the problem is we do not have any more components, okay? We got like four more components. That's simply not going to do. We've got barely any metal scraps. Um, we don't even have the copper to make more components. So what we're going to be doing is you guys are a big fan of the sledgehammer, apparently. You guys love you some sledgehammer. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make the sledgehammer. We're going to go out and kill a bear because I'm also out of food. And then we're going to uh, go out and do some looting. We're going to hit the road. Um, I think we left off our last loot video past the garage, a little bit past the garage. I think the last place was the um, was the White House. And for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, I started I started the road way over there at the very beginning of the map, and I'm just following the road, looting everything along the road. And this this will eventually culminate in us getting to the big city. Okay, but we've got some other we got a lot of places to hit between there and the big city. But what we're going to do first is we're going to make a sledgehammer. Because you guys have said the sledgehammer is the, the big hotness. So I'm going to make the sledgehammer. Oh, God, these four low-quality metal. My goodness, this damn thing's expensive. I don't think I have four low-quality metal. This better be good, guys. I'm, I'm putting my trust in you guys. I'm putting my trust in you. And um, I really hope you ain't going to let me down because this is a super expensive sledgehammer. Um, I've got my doubts. A lot of people said the sledgehammer is way better than the... Than the um, than the axes because it lasts a lot longer but you know i've got my doubts i really do but you know what uh i'm willing to give anything a shot so how do you split these split in half there we go put one right there really 30 minutes no matter which one I, way, no matter which way i do it huh okay well that sucks um <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to let that thing cook up. I'm going to make the sledgehammer, and then I'm going to get over there. We're going to go to our, um, what, we, what did we call it? The bear hut? The bear cabin? I don't know what we called it, but we're going to go over there. We're going to kill a bear, get us some food, come back. We're going to prepare the food. It'll probably take us all day, and then tomorrow, we are going to go out and do some looting. Um, I know that sounds like a long time. Oh my god, a whole day cage? Nah, it's not even going to take that long. Um... Most of the most of the day will be going by fast as I'm gutting the bear and uh, drying out his innards and stuff and getting you know meat ready um, for the trip. All right, guys, we're here at the bear hut, the bear den, the bear den. I like that. Although that makes it sound like his home. This isn't his home. It's my home. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. Come on, dude. He's pretty fast, so I don't want to get that close to him. Come on, bro. Oh, here he is. Oh, there you are. Oh, boy. Stop attacking my tables. Right in the eye. Oh, dude. Right in your eye. Oh, good. I, you know, I was worried I forgot to bring the knife. I was worried I forgot to bring the knife. All right. Well, let's go ahead and grab my arrow. And let's go ahead and save. Because sometimes when you're gutting them, it can turn miss time and you can get attacked. You don't want that. Um, all right. So we're here mostly for food, but we also want animal fat. I don't really care about the other stuff right now. So we're just going to grab all of this and all of this. And this is going to take us three hours. Wow, three hours, huh? So that's really quick. I wonder what takes all the time because I thought that the food and animal fat was the thing that took a lot of time. By the way, look at our hunger and we have nothing to eat. We have nothing to eat. The thing is we can cook some of this food, so we should be okay. Um, but yeah, I wonder what, what takes so long then. I wonder if it's this. Oh yeah, it's, it's the hide. Not really the hide either. I don't really know. I guess it's when you just get everything, but we're going to stick with what we have and we're just going to uh, GTF up. Man, I really don't have anything to eat. Anyway, I'm going to get home. I'm going to salt this sucker up. I'm going to cook some of it and then, uh, you know, I'm going to pass the night and then we will uh, go ahead and head on out tomorrow and do some looting. As you can tell, it's already uh, one o'clock. I told you, man, this takes, a, this takes a long time. It really does. Oop, hold on. Did I save? I don't remember if I saved. So if you're not sure if you saved, do yourself a favor. Make sure you save. Then get in the car and drive home. All right, I know not everyone watches every video, so I want to make this perfectly clear. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you can cook the meat or you can salt the meat. If you salt the meat, it's basically, it goes on the drying rack, it gets dried out, and it lasts way, way, way longer. Um, cooking the meat is a lot easier. It's faster. It doesn't waste salt. Um, but the thing is, the meat will go bad before you can eat it all, right? Now, I know I could, I know I could eat four pieces of this meat w without it going bad, um, so that will be fine. 
Uh, can I actually eat any more? Eh, I might be able to, but I think I'm going to hold off. All right, and then you put the, the fat up here for the fuel collector, um, and then it'll come out as low-grade fuel, which will be used for a lot of stuff later. Um, so three more pieces? Yeah, well, you, you know what? Let's stop talking about it and let's just eat. I could probably cook up all this meat, to be perfectly honest, and be just fine. Um, but I don't know that for sure, and I really don't want this meat to go bad. So um, why don't we cook up one more piece? There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some salt out of here. Now, here's the thing, guys. Okay, pay attention to this. It's very important. If you go to salt meat, it will use meat that is cooked as well as the meat that is not cooked. So if you want to make sure you're not going to salt your cooked meat, which you don't want to because if you were going to salt it, you wouldn't have cooked it, you do that. Okay? Uh, also, keep an eye on that. It can burn. We've got the mist coming in, which is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, keep an eye on this meat. It can burn. Okay? See right there? It's raw. Um, I guess I could salt some meat while I'm waiting. The thing is, it takes 20 minutes to salt the meat. This will burn by the time that meat gets salted. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this meat to go from medium to well done. You can eat it while it's, while it's medium, but you have a chance of getting sick. So I don't want to do that. Uh, maybe I should also throw some more fuel in there. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm going to have to chop some more firewood. For some reason, Scott doesn't want to chop firewood. I don't know what his problem is, but... Got to have a talk with him. All right, so what we're going to do is we got all the meat in there so we don't accidentally salt it. And then we're going to... What the hell? Scott, seriously. Scott, I swear to God, if you get me attacked... If you get me hurt, I'm going to freaking waste you somehow. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to. I'm going to figure it out. This freaking guy. I swear to God. Can we get up here? I'm going to come up here just in case the... Just in case he lets them in. Although I don't think I'm safe up here. Oh, oh, I know I'm safe up here. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. Oh my freaking god, how epic I've got plans. Okay, well, that's not what this video is about, though. Let's let's try and stay focused. It's hard to stay focused after figuring out something that awesome, but I'm going to try. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and salt this. Now, the reason it's better to cook it up is because you can eat pieces of meat one at a time. When you salt it, not only does it take salt, but you have to eat four of these for one piece of meat. Um, one piece of meat gives you four pieces of dried meat, right? And... Uh, he's in there messing with Scott. You can kill Scott. I really don't care. Uh, but the thing is, you have to eat all four of that meat to get the uh, to get the benefits. I can't believe this. This is freaking epic. That is freaking epic. I can't. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to do something cool with that. I don't know what, but I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. All right. So then once it's once it's all salted, you just go ahead and put it on the drying rack. Can I? I can't believe you still can't shift click. So anyway, you put it on there. It'll dry. Once it's dry, you can eat it. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. I'm going to go to bed. See you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it's the morning. Um, I did some work in here with the uh, uh, with my water supply. Uh, I've got some dirty water in here being distilled, right? And I put my clean water on this uh, tank on the bottom, and the tank on the top will be my dirty water when I go out and get more. Uh, also, there's going to be some things I'm going to want to do while out on the road. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple stacks of each of these, and I'm going to grab... Where are they? Yeah, I'm going to grab one of these. Uh... Hmm, do we want to grab a full one? Yeah, let's just grab a full one. Okay, now I've got food, I've got drink. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and drink right now. I've got food, I've got drink, we're ready to go out and do some looting. And the reason I'm bringing this powder is because if, if, the, if the mist starts when I'm out on the road, and it very well might, if the mist starts when I'm out on the road, I'm going to want to um, have a way to pass the time. Usually I do it with sticks, but I don't have any sticks on me. And uh, this works out as well because that stuff needs to get ground down into powder anyway. So, all right, enough talk. Let's get out there. Before we go anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and use the sledgehammer in this car. Let's see how much easier this is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's seven hits. Let's try and remember that. Guys, write that down. Seven hits. We're going to see. We're going to see. All right. No car parts. I'm actually out of spark plugs. If I don't get another spark plug soon and my, the spark plug in my car breaks a few more times, I'm screwed. So got to be aware of that. All right. So that was 0.4%. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to take a brand new axe and then we're going to find out the real difference between the sledgehammer and the axe. And let's remember the sledgehammer costs like way, way, way more than the axe. Maybe more than double as much as the axe. So let's try and keep that in mind um, as we go along. All right, so let's dump some of this stuff in here. Um, yeah, that's uh, stuff for the car. We can leave that one empty. All right, let's uh, eh, we'll hold on to that. Let's just put this stuff in here. I'll hold on a couple of these. And then we'll put some food in here as well. We're not going to need that much food on us. 
We'll put this extra axe away. And that's looking pretty good. Now the reason I'm holding these on is, on me is because they stack. So I, as I go and get more, you know, of those pieces, you know, they stack. So there's no point in putting them in the car unless they're in a stack of eight. All right. I just saved the game because I remembered. Oh, we got out of there pretty smoothly. That makes me very happy. That makes me very happy. So let's come on through here. And let's get back up on the road. Did I take apart other cars along the road? That's a good question. I don't know if I did. I want to say I did, but I, I don't know. I, I don't really remember it. Um, it is still dark out, but I wanted to get out early. Um, to get out and about, you know, get an early start. You know, it could make all of the difference. Ooh, I, I think the car trunks might be respawning. Oh, I'm almost positive I hit this car. Almost positive. I'm going to leave the gas alone. Uh, or should I? You know, I should probably take the gas. Because gas is the one thing. I, I think it only... Well, it respawns every 30 days. So I'm probably okay on gas. But, you know, we'll grab some gas anyway. Take it out, 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 take it out. Okay. I'm going to leave that in here. Because I don't want that thing on me. I just don't want it on me. You might be wondering why I'm singing the Take It Out song. It's because I always forget to take the damn things out of there. Um, well, not, not too much lately, but I used to forget quite often. All right, so I know I hit this car. If there's something in this trunk, it's respawning. Okay, so maybe it's not. Maybe I just didn't get that trunk. Oh my god, that's a lot of gas. All right, maybe I should keep this thing on me. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm always afraid I'm going to forget. Always afraid I'm going to forget. Take it out, 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 take it out. Oh, you can only hold 20, huh? Okay. We're going to need some more of those. Let's go ahead and fill this up as much as it'll do. Uh, fill the tank. Leave it in, leave it in, leave it in, leave it in. Oh my god, how much do I got tank hold? All right, that's cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Now, this is cool because I'm getting a lot of gas, but I still need to, I need to find some spark plugs, man. Old sparkies. I need to find some old sparkies. And every, I'm going to save every time before I get in a vehicle. Because I don't trust the vehicles in this game. I simply don't. Alright, we'll check one more cart really quickly. I really need a spark plug, so... Nah. Bummer. Bummer! Bummer! Alright. I'll check these cars. This will be the last one I check. Um, I'm pretty sure I already checked these cars. But this will be the last one I suspect of having checked. That I will check from that... From that one. And I'm pretty sure... I, yeah, this, this stuff's not respawning. Nope. Nope. Oh, we are getting some gas. I wonder if that gas is respawning. I don't think it is. I don't think I hit these cars up with gas. And I think you can... Oh, look at that. I think you can use the... um, I think you can use the gas in the generator, but I choose not to. Because uh, biofuel works in the generator. And, um, you know, there's only so much gas in the game. Even though it does respawn every 30 days still. Um, Biofuel is a lot easier to get. I mean, I got to kill bears for the food anyway, so. Did I try and take this apart? I'm pretty sure I did. Take it out, 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 take it out. I'm not doing that to be annoying either. I'm just, I really don't want to forget. Maybe I'll stop singing it and see if I forget. Because then if I forget, I could say, I told you I'll forget. So it's kind of win-win, Right? Right? Come on, let me have this one, guys. Please. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so where did we stop off? I know we hit that, and, uh, and then we went left over here. I think we haven't been too much farther past here. Although I could be wrong. I mean, I know we have, but not, like, thoroughly, you know? I want to make sure I hit everything up on this highway. And, uh, you know, this stuff's important to get. I mean, we, don't, we just don't have the materials, you know? Uh, the developer really has to do something about the materials. Now, you could say, you could say yeah, go... Go to the mine and mine for the materials. Um, the mine is too slow and too boring. It's slow and it's boring and unrecordable. I, I can't do it. There's just, you know, it just takes too long to save up the stuff to make the uh, the things you need, and um, you know the, the the components and the and the scrap. And uh, it's extreme. I mean, like I can't stress how slow it is and how long it takes and how boring it is. It's like one of the few times I have to put on like. Um, uh, a podcast or uh, someone's stream, you know, or something like that, uh, because it's just, it's mind-numbingly, soul-crushingly boring. So, yeah, I don't really want to do that. I, I think we should be able to loot in the game. I think we should be able to loot for stuff. Uh, you know, and I think, um, I like being able to mine as, like, a secondary way of getting stuff, like, keep things interesting, that's fine. 
But we need to be able to get everything without mining, just because it's so effing boring. Alright, I know I've been down here. But I'm going to double check. Because I feel like I've left stuff here. Uh, maybe not. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, here we go. We got a car. Okay. All right. So remember, the um, the sledgehammer took seven hits and took 0.4 durability. Seven hits and 0.4 durability. Let's see what this does. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be double. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. More than double. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's double. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, almost triple the time, and way more durability. Okay, the sledgehammers, yeah, it's worth it. All right, well, you guys are right. I'm, I like it when you guys are right. I really do. So the sledgehammer is definitely worth it. So we will, I'm, I'm not going to take one inventory spot for a feather. Um, the sledgehammer is definitely worth it, guys. That is a fact. So yeah, that's definitely the way to go. Sledgehammer for the win! Oh my god, it's a sledgehammer from downtown! Sledgehammer for the win, boys! Hell yeah, I'm glad I made it now. Glad I made it. And also, you should be able to hit, like, trees with it? To get, like, sticks and everything? Does it give you a lot, or... Feathers? Oh, do you get sticks, too? I think you're supposed to get feathers and sticks. Now, I won't waste it for these purposes. That's just... That's just a waste. You could just chop down trees and get the same stuff. You know, I don't see much point in that. Um, I mean, well, you know, I guess there is points in it if you're not going to build a lot of walls. But I'm going to build a lot of walls. So, for someone like me, yeah, you're damn right. I'm going to chop down this stuff with axes. Yeah. No joke. Save. All right, we're going to be here for a little bit. Let's turn this off. Nope, that's the wrong button. R-E-F. R-E-F. R-E-F-P-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Take it out, take it out, take it out. There we go. Come on. Okay, there we go with that, and that's empty, and that's a uh, point seven. Not even worth getting out my can. Um, oh, battery, that's nice. Even though I, I need I need sparkity spark plugs. Where's the old sparkity spark plugs, man? That's what I need. What is that? Is that just wood? Yeah, let's take the wood scraps. Why not? The cool thing about the uh, the truck is we have so much storage now. We can take stupid things like wood scraps, which I never would have taken before. Not a lot of components, huh? Oh, we got a lot of a lot of cars to take take care of here, which we will. Oh, there's some components. That's nice. That's nice. So we got to make components too, I think, because uh, components seem to be more rare, don't they? Or is that just like, am I just crazy? Well, I know I'm crazy, but hey, you know both things could be true at once, right? All right, so we got over here more components. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Oh, we got a tire here. I haven't needed a tire yet, but... Ooh, hammer. Stop! Hammer time! Okay, guys, we are done here. I had a missed event as well. Uh, I did kill some zombies. I got quite I got like four things of canned food. Actually, more than that. I think I put some canned food somewhere else as well. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of stuff. Not as much uh, components as I would like, but, you know... You're probably never going to get as many components as you want. Uh, yeah, but look at that. I got a lot of, a lot of canned food, man. I don't even need anywhere to put it all. Uh, let me see where I want to put the rest of this can. I don't want to put it in there. I'm thinking in this one. Nope, not in that one. How about this one? Nope, that one's full. All right, whatever. I'll just put it in here. Just kind of want to clear up my inventory a little bit. All right, that's good enough. Let's go. All right. So let's continue down the road. Now, there's a couple places down the road. Um, there is a um, roadblock type place uh, down the road, which I think I'm actually going to hit up uh, next video. Next, next looting video. Is, ne is next video going to be a looting video? I don't know. It might be. Uh, but I think I'm going to hit that next video. We got a couple houses on the right up here, though, we can we can check out. All right. Now, I know down here to the left, there's a little campsite. So we'll we'll check that out as well. Let's check this uh, bad boy out. Oh, got some gas. Well, one thing's for sure, guys. I think we have enough gas for the rest of our game. Like, we've got a lot of gas. So that is that is really nice. Um, oh, up there is where the uh, bandit camp was. So, uh, should we go check out that house first? I, didn't we do that house? I thought we did that house when we were doing the, that bandit camp. I, I don't quite remember. Honestly, I, I don't remember. We'll go check it out anyway, just to see. Pretty sure I looted it, but 
I don't know. It's, it seems kind of weird that I would loot it, though. Well, I'm going to get bandits. Usually if I'm going to get bandits, I'm just going to get bandits. We should have saved before we hopped in here again. Eh, whatever. I'll save before I get any the, the next time. All right. So let's see what we got over here. By the way, me uh, breaking up cars, I am not getting any car parts, which has got me very nervous. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to get my spark plugs from. Um, but, yeah, that kind of... It's not good. That's not good because... Um, I'm just not sure where I'm supposed to get spark plugs from. Honestly, if you can't drive in this game, your game's over. Like, really. I'm not gonna... This this map is made for having a vehicle. And there's no way I'm gonna run around the map without a vehicle. So, I really hope we find one pretty soon. Okay, I just broke up the two cars. And I'm breaking up that trailer. There we go. I mean, we're getting a lot of the stuff we really came here for. I'm just, uh... You know, honestly, if there's no loot in the world, there's not much reason to need a car, I guess. Uh, you know... We'll see. We'll see where things go. Hopefully there'll be an update pretty soon. Like a real like a real deal hardcore, like big update. That would be freaking awesome. Uh, game's due for a big update. So let's go ahead and drop this and this and this. Um, eh, yeah, let's just... Nah, we're going to keep that open for just those two items. And we'll just kind of put this stuff uh, wherever we can. Just kind of get it out of my inventory. Now, I don't usually like to put this stuff in here unless it's full stacks. Because then, like, if I find other stacks of those items that, you know... Um, like, say, if I find a bunch more uh, uh, sugar, I won't remember that the sugar's in here. So, but whatever. It's all good. Let's go ahead and drink this uh, soda before it goes bad. And then we're going to continue along. We're going to go check out that white house by the bandit camp. Excuse me, Bobby number two. Bobby number two, it, when, I, when I get a chance to build a uh, chicken coop, which might be next video... Honestly, the chicken coop might very well be next video. I uh, I will capture more bobbies because I heard that that's been fixed. Because uh, when I, like last season, it was it was um I didn't save, I didn't freaking save. I'm really freaking rolling the dice here, man. Like, and I'm not a gambling person, so I've gotta stop doing that. Anyway, uh, yeah, last time I played, the chickens weren't working. They weren't like laying eggs. They weren't reproducing. I heard that's been fixed. So we'll have to see about that. So there was a car up here, right? Pretty sure there was. We've got some, we've got some zombies. Should we just blast them, or should we go sledgehammer on their ass? Sure, let's go sledgehammer on their ass. There you go. Give me some gunpowder. Anybody else? I know there's more yous in here. I can see in the freaking garage. Where are you? Hello. Zambies! You know, I don't have time for this. Oh. Was it... It was just one, I guess. Really? Huh. That is odd. That there was just one. I don't think I've ever seen a house with just one zombie. So weird. Alright. We will take that. We'll take that. Turn that off. Look in here. Oh, we're starting to get some loot. Nice. Nice. I thought there'd be a bag in there. All right, well, let's check out the rest of this house. Maybe we'll, uh... Oh, yeah, all right. Now, this is blocked. You can get up there if you kind of... Oh, whatever. Let's just come on up here. There's nothing up here, though. That's probably why it's blocked. They don't want you to come up here. Probably because it wasn't done. Yeah, I don't even... Yeah, you can't even loot any of this stuff. Yeah. Nothing up here. That's what I thought. It only took a second. All right. Oh, there we go. Some components. Some rags. We really don't need rags anymore. Oh my god, there's stuff in the cabinets. Holla friggin' Luya. Oh boy, I didn't save. I didn't save. Shut up, timer. Let's go ahead and save. We're gonna check one more building. Uh, actually, mm, eh. no, we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna stop here. Because the, the next building will be quite a lot of looting. Well, we can check another couple places up here. Let's check another couple. Son of a bitch. How much damage did that do to my car? What? Wait, is it broken broken? How's it still running? Oh, that's not good. I think I made have broke it broke it. Like, completely broke it. Hmm, we're gonna have to find out about that. Is that even possible? That is odd. I've never seen that before. I've never even heard of that. That, that, if that is, tr if that's what happened, that's not cool. And should not be in the game. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, the map is way too big. Stamina comes back way too slow. Can't have that. Well, we'll see. We're going to find out together. We're going to find out together. It's the end of the episode. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to turn it off. Maybe it's because the engine was on. Okay, it was because the engine was on. That gave me a freaking heart attack, guys. Like, no joke. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> on that note, guys, I think I'm going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please, re please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.